Replaced heating element, dryer still not heating. Put in thermal cutoff kit and the cycling thermostat. Still no heat. Would the thermal fuse keep it from heating? Have you tried power cycling the appliance, unplugging it and leaving it off for a few hours? Not for a few hours. Just while working on it. Do you plan on doing the work yourself? Have been. Anything else we should know to help you best? All I know is the wife said sometimes it did not heat. But every time I tried it did until this week. Blower works just no heat. Hello there, my name is I will be assisting you with this issue you are having. You said you replaced the heating element and the thermal cutoff kit and thermostat on this unit to no avail? What is the brand and model number of it? I'm guessing Whirlpool? Roper model red 4640 co. Cannot call cause I have no voice box. Alright, it looks like on this model, a bad thermal fuse will keep the unit from starting at all, so if it is running just without heat it will not be in that fuse. Have you checked the breakers to the unit to ensure those are on? And do you have access to a voltmeter? Also with the parts you have changed, did you notice anything wrong with the heating element? What breakers? Don't have voltmeter. The circuit breaker for the unit. In my house breaker box? Without a voltmeter that makes it a little more difficult, but we can still look a little more. For this next step I would make sure the unit is unplugged, but where the cord goes into the dryer there should be a little square panel with one one quarter of an inch screw holding it in, take that panel off and check the connections from the cord to the terminal block are tight and secure. Yes in the house breaker box, I would definitely turn that off and then back on just to be sure, as I have seen times where just one leg of the 240V breaker trips so it still looks like it's on, and if the old heater shorted or something with how you replaced it then it could have tripped it. Shut off breaker, all connections at cord are tight. Turn breaker back on. No heat. Hello? Alright well again without a voltmeter it's a little tougher but if you have replaced the heater 279,838, thermal cutoff 279,816 and cycling thermostat WP 3,387,134, and all of the connections there are secure, the only thing left would be the timer that is supposed to send power to the element. Okay. It is also possible that it is an electrical issue as in this unit. 120V operates the motor and another 120V operates the heater so it can run without sufficient power but depending on the age of the wiring and stuff coming in may not be the cause either. Okay, thanks. You're definitely welcome. If you found my advice helpful today, please take a moment to rate my assistance. I always strive to give 5 star service. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.